Have you ever wondered if humans could live on Mars in the future? This question has tantalized not only scientists, but also the general public for generations. Our fascination with Mars, the fiery red planet in our celestial neighborhood, is as much about the unknown as it is about the potential for life. Life as we understand it, requires certain fundamental conditions. A source of energy, a stable environment, and crucially, the presence of water. Mars, despite its barren exterior, has been found to have traces of water in its polar ice caps, sparking hope and feeding our curiosity. From the ancient Greeks staring up at the night sky, to the modern scientists sending rovers to Mars, the question remains the same, can we live there? What would it take to establish a human settlement on this alien world? The answers may lie in our relentless pursuit of knowledge and exploration. Let's embark on a journey through time, from the first Mars exploration to the latest advancements. Our journey begins in the mid-20th century with the first attempts to reach Mars. In the space race era, Mars became the next frontier, a tantalizing objective for human exploration. The initial attempts were spearheaded by the two superpowers of the time, the United States and the Soviet Union. These early missions were fraught with challenges, as the vast distance and harsh conditions of Mars presented an entirely new set of obstacles for space exploration. The Soviet Union was the first to make the attempt, launching the Mars One probe in 1960. However, this mission was unsuccessful, as contact was lost with the spacecraft shortly after launch. Undeterred by this setback, the Soviets continued their attempts, culminating in the Mars 3 mission in 1971, which successfully landed a spacecraft on Mars, a first in human history. Meanwhile, the United States was not far behind. Their Mariner series of spacecraft, launched in the 1960s and 70s, achieved several significant milestones. Mariner 4, launched in 1965, was the first to fly by Mars and return images of the Martian surface. This was followed by the Viking missions in the mid-70s, which not only landed on Mars, but also conducted a series of experiments searching for signs of life. These initial explorations were far from smooth sailing. Many missions ended in failure, either due to technical malfunctions or the harsh Martian environment. But each failure brought with it important lessons and invaluable data about Mars. The images returned by the Mariner and Viking missions provided the first detailed look at the Martian landscape, revealing a barren, rocky world with vast canyons and towering volcanoes. Despite the initial setbacks, these early missions laid the foundation for future explorations. They marked the beginning of humanity's quest to understand Mars, a quest that continues to this day. The data collected by these missions have been instrumental in shaping our current understanding of Mars and they continue to guide the design and planning of future missions to the Red Planet. Despite the initial setbacks, these early missions laid the foundation for future explorations. As technology advanced, so too did our ability to explore Mars. The journey of unraveling the mysteries of the Red Planet took a giant leap forward with the advent of sophisticated technology. The initial flybys and landers were just the beginning. As we stepped into the 21st century, our explorations became more refined and detailed, thanks to the introduction of rovers and satellites. Rovers, our robotic emissaries, have been the workhorses of Mars exploration for the past two decades. Starting from the Pathfinder mission's Sojourner rover, we've seen a lineage of increasingly advanced rovers. These include Spirit and Opportunity, Curiosity and most recently Perseverance, each equipped with a suite of instruments to probe the Martian surface. They have uncovered evidence of ancient water flows, identified complex organic molecules, and even produced oxygen from the Martian atmosphere. Satellites, on the other hand, have given us a bird's-eye view of Mars. Orbiters like Mars Odyssey, Mars Express, and Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter have revealed the planet's geography in unprecedented detail. They've detected signs of subsurface water ice, mapped the distribution of minerals across the surface, and monitored the planet's weather and climate. However, these technological marvels did more than just capture data. They painted a picture of a world not so different from our own. They showed us a Mars that had rivers, lakes, and possibly even an ocean billions of years ago. This transformed our understanding of Mars from a desolate, lifeless planet to a world that might have once harbored life. Moreover, these missions have also paved the way for future human exploration. They've identified potential landing sites, studied the challenges of living on Mars, and even tested technologies that future astronauts might use. With each new discovery, 
the possibility of life on Mars became increasingly plausible. Our rovers and satellites have been the torchbearers, lighting the path towards understanding our enigmatic neighbor, and as we continue to make strides in technology who knows what secrets Mars might yet reveal. Fast forward to the present day, where the search for life on Mars is in full swing. The Red Planet has captured the collective imagination of humanity, with both governmental and private entities pushing the boundaries of space exploration. On the governmental front NASA continues to lead the charge. Their Perseverance rover currently roaming the Martian surface is a state-of-the-art mobile laboratory. This intrepid explorer is tasked with seeking signs of ancient life and collecting samples of rock and soil for possible return to Earth. NASA's future plans are just as ambitious, with the Artemis program aiming to land astronauts on Mars within the next two decades. However, it's not just governmental entities that have their eyes set on Mars. The private sector has also jumped into the fray, with Elon Musk's SpaceX at the forefront. SpaceX's Starship, a spacecraft currently under development, represents a bold vision for the future of interplanetary travel. Musk has made no secret of his ambitions to establish a self-sustaining colony on Mars, with the first crewed missions possibly launching as early as the mid-20s. In addition, international cooperation in space exploration is also growing. The United Arab Emirates Hope Probe, China's Tianwen-1 mission, and the European Space Agency's ExoMars program all represent significant strides towards understanding Mars and its potential for life. While the focus is primarily on robotic missions right now, the goal is to eventually send humans to Mars. This would be a monumental step, not just for space exploration but for humanity as a whole. The challenges are significant, from the long journey to the harsh Martian environment, but the rewards could be immeasurable. Imagine the day when we could look up at the night sky, point to that tiny red dot, and know that there are people living there. The future of Mars exploration is bright, with numerous missions planned that could further our understanding of this fascinating planet. So, what does the future hold for life on Mars? As we peer into the cosmos we find ourselves drawn to the red planet, Mars. The allure of its untapped potential and the possibility of human habitation has sparked countless imaginations. Yet, setting foot on Martian soil is just the beginning. Living there? That's an entirely different beast. The future of life on Mars is a tapestry of challenges and opportunities. The technological hurdles are enormous, yet not insurmountable. Let's start with the most basic requirement, air. Mars' atmosphere, primarily composed of carbon dioxide, is not conducive to human life. Thus, we'll need to engineer systems capable of producing breathable air, a feat that requires both advanced technology and a reliable source of power. Water, another essential element for life, is scarce on Mars. However, recent discoveries of subsurface ice deposits offer a glimmer of hope. Extracting this water and making it suitable for human consumption is a task that will require innovative solutions and robust infrastructure. Now let's talk about shelter. The Martian surface is bombarded by harmful solar radiation due to its thin atmosphere. To protect potential inhabitants, we'll need to develop structures that can shield us from these harmful rays. Underground habitats or even structures made from Martian soil could be the answer. Food production on Mars is another hurdle. The thin, arid soil is not conducive to traditional farming methods. However, scientists are exploring the potential of hydroponics and aeroponics, systems that can grow plants without soil, as a possible solution. The logistics of getting to Mars and maintaining a human presence there are daunting, but let's not forget, humanity has a history of overcoming great challenges. The same innovative spirit that took us to the moon will guide us towards making Mars our second home. While there are still many challenges to overcome, the dream of living on Mars is closer than ever before. From the first Mars exploration to the latest advancements, our understanding of Mars has come a long way. We've journeyed from the curiosity of whether there's life on Mars, to the tantalizing prospect of humans actually living there. The Red Planet, once a distant and mysterious world, is now within our grasp. We've discussed the initial explorations, the technological leaps that made these missions possible, and the ongoing research that fuels our dreams of a future Martian colony. Each step we take in this direction brings us closer to answering the age-old question, can we make Mars our second home? The potential for life on Mars is no longer a question of if, but when. As we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge and capabilities, the future of Mars exploration looks brighter than ever. As we continue to explore the final frontier, who knows what discoveries await us. Until then, keep looking up.